First off, um, we have the Four of Pentacles. And just as the card depicts, it's kind of a alone time, time to reflect, time to contemplate um, on your next step. So most likely most of you are doing that. This also is a general reading for Cancer. So um, take the information that is pertinent to you and leave what isn't. This is also for those with the sun, moon, or rising sign in Cancer. So uh, the very first card is one of contemplation, one of going internally, um, finding out what you want in life, rechecking your passions. And now um, all signs are really doing that since the eclipse. So this, you're right on time. So really kind of updating your desires. Uh, what crosses you. Um, looks like some of you are on a little bit of a spiritual quest, gaining information, gaining knowledge. This could be general knowledge as well. Um, just collecting information before you make any decisions is always good. Just don't stay in that place too long because movement here is, is real important. So um, also may have, I'm picking up some energy on monies, uh, either reorganizing money, um, researching investments, um, creating new ways to make money, um, maybe switching jobs as well, or um, creating a job if you don't have one. So this is doing a little bit of research and also is lighting up for me that um, it's reassessing your connection with spirit, whether you look at that in a church atmosphere or if you're a spiritualist or um, just kind of really looking at some of the more spiritual aspects of your life and how that works or doesn't work. So it's really a time to reevaluate. Um, what is above you is the five of wands. Five of wands. Uh, wands is fire. That's energy. That's movement. Looks like there's a, a lot of undue uh, tension on you right now, Cancer. Uh, a little bit of static in your communications with uh, your interpersonal communications. Uh, it is the time where... Um, uh, Mercury is retrograde, so that has a lot to do with putting static in between in, in interpersonal relationships. Um, just little difficulties doing the average things, a little bit more challenges in doing the average things. And I think that is a part of your awareness right now. So um, just breathe deep and keep going. Um, choose your words carefully during this kind of staticky time. Um, but most definitely speak from the heart, uh, speak your truth. Uh, there's an ending coming here. It doesn't seem to be, on a, uh, could be on a relationship space, could be on a job space. It's just, it, it's right in line with reevaluating, um, of your life. So things will be changing. Uh, go ahead and take that leap of faith, Cancer. Uh, you guys are the dream makers. You make things happen. So making things happen for you is what I'm feeling here. That it's really important that you make some positive changes to better your health, your awareness, your um, environment. But even a small step forward will help uh, clear the way. So don't be afraid. Jump in there, Cancer, and make some changes. Speak those truths. Um, looks like doing a little research before would be good. The pages on either side are lighting up for me. Um, pages can de depict children. They also depict messages. So it looks like you may be getting quite a lot of messages <laughs> pertaining to this movement and this communication and communication from the past visiting you, um, being able to clear up some um, old staticky relationships or just miscommunications, just uh, really clearing up some things from the past. You'll get the opportunity to do that. Looks like you just did. And uh, moving forward, when um, you're ending some things, it looks like more messages 
after that. So the Page of Wands also is movement and um, getting things done and communicating. But messages are definitely coming through really strongly. So check your emails, check your texts, uh, messages from the past. Someone from the past is um, will be contacting you or situation will revisit you from the past. So you have an opportunity to clean up some things uh, if you choose to. And let some things go if you choose to. But the death card here is right in the present time. And death, a lot of people think, is the uh, is bad. And it doesn't necessarily mean physical death at all. Most likely it means um, the death of an idea, the death of a belief, uh, the ending of job relationship, housing. So something is coming to a close. Looks like you're quite aware of it and it needed to end and move forward. So that will be happening. It's probably happening right now since I'm doing this in August. If it hasn't started happening, um, it will be happening in September. So pay attention for the messages and um, speak your truth with love and certainty and kindness. Looks like there is a light at the end of the rainbow or light at the end of the tunnel that isn't a train. So just put one foot in front of the other, Cancer. I know sometimes getting caught up in the details or the emotions of things um, doesn't really serve you or doesn't serve the motion that is needed. But time for all those little things that you've always wanted to do. Pick one. Just pick one and move towards it. Uh, move out the rest of the either behaviors, friendships, um, things that don't work for you. That seems to be a running thing with all of the signs uh, since the, the eclipse. So you're right on track. And of course, a lot of emotions will be coming up for you. Um, being a water sign, um, we, you know, water signs, we really live in the emotions. Um, and that's fine. Just don't get caught up in them and create kind of that mind trap where you don't get the motion. So you do have a, um, a number of, of cups here and got a little bit of everything. So that's good. A little bit more balance in your world. Um, looks like some of your responsibilities have lessened. Um, so giving you a little bit of breathing space. Queen of Cups is down here, um, and she is an emoting card. She is one of um, an exalted card. This could stand for a person that is loving, kind, pretty wise. Looks like a wise person either coming into your life or is into your life. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, I know Cancer Science. You're pretty capable, so asking for help uh, sometimes can be a little stifling. But don't be afraid. There is a wise woman hanging out in uh, your awareness, waiting to help you move this energy. Also see this uh, fear picture, kind of what I call of the old broken alone, uh, which is kind of a, I'd say a trick that our mind plays on us when we are in uh, either an emotionally frail state or a financially uh, challenging position, kind of get into the old broken alone. No one will love me. I'm going to be broke. It's going to be awful. Um, that is not a truth, but it does look like something that runs through your mind as a fear. So um, it, it, I believe it's a false fear. This five here of pentacles, it's, it's really all about the mind and what you move in your mind and what you focus on. And if you focus on the negative, you'll surely create it. If you focus on the positive, it will change. Yes, it does take some um, diligence. You have to add the positive thoughts as well as the actions uh, coming together. And that looks like what's happening for you. So don't stay too much in the static place. Um, move things on a physical level. Uh, cancers, I know you guys like to rearrange the furniture a lot and that clears out the energy. <laughs> All my cancer clients and friends, they are ones that move the furniture around or 
a lot of male cancers or uh, build houses or build things to move the energy around. And that looks like that's something that's coming up for you too. Moving things around, changing the energy, the six of cups here. Um, it looks like your emotional state is much better when you're in, in motion and when you're doing things for yourself and for your house. Looks like some things coming up for the house, uh, whether getting things out of the, the corners or painting rooms or just giving away. Oh, that's my dog saying hi. Or just giving away those that box in the corner that's been sitting there. Just kind of move the stagnant energy out and making your home one of uh, pleasure and safety and uh, contentment. So I know you guys like to uh, make make that home a really nice home and, and welcoming to others. Uh, so it's time to redo some of that energy in the home. Lots of uh, emotions coming up. It looks like family stuff coming up, positive growth emotions. There is a couple kid cards in here so children may be around uh, visiting or, or just around in your awareness um, so and it has to do with a home too so you may be visiting someone with kids or they might be visiting you with kids or your children so for for many of you you're entrenched with the kids already so it looks like some more positive motion now that they're back in school that's really going to help kind of clear the energy in the house too, um, from all that kind of residual summer energy. Uh, but getting the house back in order, getting will help you really clear your head, Cancer. I know your home bodies and <clears throat> having things out of sorts in your house or um, out of routine is a little disruptive for your psyche. So just getting those things back in order for you will really help you clear your head. The four of wands here depicts these wonderful women hanging out, just exalted in happiness. So it looks like connecting with friends, uh, whether male or female, connecting with friends, rejoicing, a little bit more social activity than the last couple of weeks. Looks like a little bit more social things that are, that are happening, kind of with the last vestige of summer before we slip into fall, just taking full advantage of this beautiful weather and getting out and moving around and really connecting with your friends and people of the heart, people that really count in your world. Um, with this also, I, I feel that there are new, uh, new friendships and new people that you will be exposed to, possible uh, new hobby, new connections. Um, uh, Knight of Swords is air sign and thought, and I believe this is someone in your awareness already. That is a bit of a challenge. Um, so really speaking your truth, being balanced and grounded and loving um, with this, looks like young man. Uh, swords is air sign, so that is Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, night depicts someone that's usually under, under 40, just can be someone that is emotionally under 40. Um, but it's a little bit of static with this person. Could be son, could be husband, boss, someone that, um, that you see on the regular, uh, and some things that just need to be cleared up. Also speaking from the heart, uh, hopefully they will speak from the heart as well. Uh, page Pentacles is lining up to here, also messages. So really pay attention to um, all the messages, subtle and obvious. Um, they will kind of clue you in on which direction to go if you have some choices to make. And I do see some choices. Um, when you do make those choices, uh, make them for the betterment of yourself, not just the betterment of someone else. Sometimes cancer, it looks like you make choices for others that really don't end up helping you in the long run. Um, you guys are just wonderful healers and compassionate and emoters and um, sometimes doing so much for others takes away your magic and your sparkle and you have nothing left for you. So please refill your batteries, 
rejuvenate. Um, the eclipse kind of reminded us to really take a look at ourselves and what is working for us um, on the inside and what is working for us or not on the outside. So make those changes, even if it's just one change. Um, now is time to put yourself first. And there looks like some family dynamics have changed over the summer. So fill in those gaps with things that better you and help you find your smile. So uh, in synopsis, it looks like lots of messages coming into you, into your, your space, into your awareness, Cancer. Uh, really kind of look at where your happiness is moving forward. Look at all the things, that your desires that you've always wanted to do and be brave. Take that leap of faith into those desires and see where it brings you. So don't let fear stand in the way of your motion. If it doesn't work out, you can pick a different path. It's okay. So just giving you permission to do something different. Um, and um, so that is what I'm getting from your reading. Let me throw a couple of these wonderful past life cards for clarity. Okay. Angels. Okay. There's another one. Persecution and Inquisition. Okay, really time to let go of the pains of the past and things that you've been holding on to. Uh, kind of that monologue that goes in your head. This happened, so I can't do this. Do not put any boundaries on yourself. Your growth and your happiness due to the feeling of persecution from the past or um, not feeling that your words are valid. So speak your truth with love and kindness. Call upon your angels. Call upon all that beautiful energy. Tap into your creative magic. Tap into your, your spiritual magic. Cancers, you are um, wonderful and creative and have connections to the other side. Um, so use those angels, make those wishes, put them out there in the world so they can manifest for you and um, bring you more joy, bring you more joy. You guys do everything for everybody. So now it's time to do some stuff for you.